So as most of you guys know, I don't do conventional deadlifts. But recently I've been watching a bunch of Alan Thrall videos again, and he had a video about um, doing pause deadlifts just above the ground. And that seemed really intriguing to me. I saw him at super training, and I noticed he was doing those, even though everyone else was maxing out their deadlifts. And I thought, you know, maybe he's just trying to hide how weak he is. But then I thought, you know, who, you know, what, what kind of person who trains for a living would go to super training and, you know, hide how weak they are? Who would do that? You know, so I thought I'd give him a shot since, uh, you know, I just got 500 subscribers. Thought now was the time. So here's a 500 pound pause deadlift. One pound for each and every one of you guys. Check it out. The pause deadlift we go, guys. is a helpful variation for those of you interested in increasing your deadlift strength. Pause deadlift. We can provide a strong training yeah. stress with a little bit less weight than a traditional deadlift because you are artificially making the movement more difficult by incorporating a pause. Aside from the training stress it creates, it can be a helpful teaching tool. Individuals who yank on the barbell, bend their arms, or rush the starting position can learn how to remain a bit more patient by squeezing the barbell off the floor during these pause deadlifts. One hour later. Number three, don't exhale immediately after your pause. Hold your breath all the way up to the top. And number four, don't let the barbell swing away from your body. Keep the barbell against your legs throughout the entire pull. I'll sometimes cue myself and my clients to pull their shorts up with the barbell on the way in. Thanks for subscribing, guys. Uh, it means a lot to me. It's fun. Uh, I'll keep doing epic shit while other people don't. See you guys.